to treat on Monday for beauty queens everywhere will be flocking to the host city in hope of being crowned for this year's Miss England. A Holiday Inn is, believe it or not, the setting for the stage for the final round of the contest. Following numerous gruelling challenges, including a sports competition, a talent show, hairstyling, beach beauty and a no-makeup catwalk. It sounds a little bit like a Challenge Christie's episode all rolled into one, but amongst the lineup will be a mechanic, a paramedic, three nurses, a doctor, a lorry driver and a chess champion and a rocket scientist and an Afghan refugee. That's right. And the latter... A former refugee who fled Afghanistan with her family when she was aged just three. Lives in London now, age 26. Is leading a series who works in PR and has a permanent citizenship in the UK. I'm delighted to say that you join me now. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm all thank right. Thank you for having me. So, look, aside from the obvious, how did you get into Miss England? Honestly, it was um, last year I won Beauty and Brains, mm. 2021, and I... Enrolled through as well, and then they recognised, um, you know, the accomplishment, and then that's how I received the email. I was star studded. I was like, "What?" <laughs> but it's 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 an astounding story, yours, isn't it? Really. Mm. So, would you mind just taking our viewers and our listeners through, I suppose, what brought you to Miss England? Well, as a former refugee and coming from mm. Afghanistan, and then you know coming to Europe, and really not having seen anything of my childhood, and not really been through what normal children usually go through. Um, I've always had this passion for beauty and fashion and I was in search of trying to find and understand what the purpose is behind it. And I always knew inside me that there is this higher um, purpose that I wanted to achieve, mm. which links back to beauty with a purpose, which is a charity that I also, um, you know, support with this within this round. Mm. So you had to do quite a lot just to get... Well, to Birmingham on Monday, right? So I've read off a few rounds there. I mean, it's quite astonishing, really, because they obviously want an incredibly well-rounded person. So, so talk me through some of the challenges that you've had to do then, I suppose, to get there, or some of the tasks or whatever that you've had to do to get to the, to, to the finals. No, of course. I believe, like, um, today Miss England is challenging the traditional way of how Miss England is perceived. Mm. So we are no longer thinking conservatively, although we have the choice of being and representing the way we want to represent ourselves. So... Uh, the challenges I face coming from an Afghan culture, Islamic yeah. background, yeah. there are, you know, there are a few aspects of beauty that is looked down upon or questioned. So I had to challenge it in the most moral way that I possibly could do, and that's who I stand for. So, for example, um, not wearing, um, you know, the beach wear, mm. that was also a very challenging part, but doing it in a way that comes across conservatively, but more so that's me. You know, how what can I ask how how that's been with regards to your, I suppose, traditional culture, as it mm. were? I suppose those two things are not things that normally would go hand in hand, would they? I mean, how, how's that been for you? It has been challenging because um, usually it's not regarded as an accomplishment or a chal as an achievement, I would say. Right. But, right. But being part of a beauty contest and, and fully embracing who you are and in ways that is morally correct for myself. So I do have mm. my moral standards. I do have ways of, OK, I will not show this part or that part. That's for me to, you know, decide. Yep. And that's exactly how I have presented myself. Now, if you're being honest, yeah. are you there to win? Of course. Yes. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what do you have to I, do for the final, right? So you've got to do, because, you know, I mean... You might as well be honest about it. I like that. A lot of people say, oh, no, it's just a taking part. But you're pretty upfront about the fact that you just want to win. I've come... No, I do respect all the one, women that are contributing and yeah, participating. but you want to win. I've come a long way. <laughs> and, I'll, and, and this is just the beginning. Oh. oh, OK, all right. That's interesting. Watch out, everybody else. I'm telling you what. So do you know what you have to do in Birmingham yet, then, for the final? Anything specific? Or do they surprise you? Um, no, so we have our cha uh, charity um, event on Sunday and then on Monday we have our final round. So that's very exciting to uh, be part in. Fantastic. Now, what would it mean for you if you won Miss England? Like I said, it's just literally the beginning of so much more. I am not representing only myself or my story. I'm representing all the other women that are restricted. And I'm not talking about the Manessa region, which is the Middle mm. East, Asia and Africa. I'm talking about the... Um, you know, European and even US, there are so many other women that cannot voice their opinion or cannot say what they truly feel. And I want to represent that in the most moral and ethical way. Mm. Is there a Mr England? I'm assuming there probably is. I believe there is, yeah. How do you think I'd do in that? 
I think you'll do brilliant. <laughs> I think you're an amazing character. Ca character's interesting, right? Okay, good <laughs> stuff, good stuff. Do they have a do they have a personality composition? Personality. I suppose they will. I suppose your personality has to has to shine through. Well, look, thank you very very much. And can I ask, how do people vote? Do, do the public get to vote, or is it just judges on the day? No, absolutely. Public has a choice to vote um, on the app. Oh, do it right. Promote it. I mean, so so how can people vote for you? They can just download the app, mm. and then uh, they can just click on uh, my name. Click on your name, fantastic, OK. And I'll tell you what, just, just remind people, everyone at home, exactly, so they're downloading the app now as we speak, remind them of the name and how they can do it. Go on, what's your name? Well, guys, um, you can download the app on your phone. It's very easy. It's called Miss England. And then you go on voting, and then you can vote for me lead on a series. Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. So, okay, well, good luck. I think we all wish you well, obviously. Thank and you so much. Good luck to it. I mean, it just takes an incredible amount of courage to do what you've done. So thank you so, so much.